it, it was right when Knicks and 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 Pinaloza said something, but like I, I know the time is crazy, but I'm finally not busy that I can write you guys another tweet longer. Years going by, bro. Years, years, and you're still the same. Like no, bro. It's just it's just who you are, bro. Let's wrap it up. You're done. Strike one, strike two, and now strike three, everyone. I'm not gonna say I remember what happened in strike one and strike two. I, time has went on and I forget, I'm not gonna lie. But not enough time has went on. <laughs> not, not enough time has went on at all between these instances of occurrences that Camilla Cuevas has had being brought up to society and whatnot, you know what I'm saying, the drama. This isn't a drama channel, just letting you guys know off rip if you're new here, you know what I'm saying, don't expect me to do drama videos. I'm simply doing this because I reacted to Glitch Tell a long time ago and it blew up the channel, so I know that a lot of people are, are on my channel that know about Glitch Tell, and they'll probably ask me, can you react to the new Camilla Cuevas video? And I'm gonna have to say, no, refer to this video as to why. And the other two videos. It's quite apparent that they just don't care about other people in their community to a certain degree as to where these occurrences keep happening. We know whether it's directly Camilla doing it or not, or if it's Camilla seeing something happen and then ignoring it, or if it's Camilla agging a situation on and then completely ignoring it when it gets out of pocket. But today, the case is, such as Penaloza has taken a stand and come out to say something. This is the third strike, the Penaloza strike. Well, Nick said something first, but, but uh, the, the NP strike, the, the Nick's and Penaloza strike, you, you get my point. Yeah, the funniest thing about this is this could have all been done if when the first instance happened, Camilla just deleted her Discord and never brought it back up. You could have been drama free, bro. Camilla must have like a best friend or something that's just like, keep the channel up, I love the Discord. And they're just maniacally just doing dumb, the dumbest stuff in her Discord, just using her. Uh, and then she's letting it happen. So, you know what I'm saying? You let it happen long enough, you become the enemy as well. And uh, that's probably what happened. I don't know. Boom. The first tweet we're gonna see today, it all started with Nyx, from what I know, at least on Twitter. Crystal was talking about it, uh, uh, Tris came in and talked about it as well, two people I saw uh, that I messed with heavy, so, yeah, I was like, eh, it's happening again, let's get into it, and then I saw a whole bunch of memes coming, which we're gonna get into as well, and we're getting into it all here, now, on Divinely News. <laughs> no, I'm playing, bro, it's not gonna happen like that. I read some mean comments lately, and I just wanted to be super clear. I haven't been related to Glitch Toe since at least 2022, which uh, is honestly, I I'm not surprised that this happened, that Nyx was receiving some mean comments, because when I heard of the drama and everything, and people in the Discord, and I was like, bro, was it Nyx in there? Did he do anything with this? Nah, there's no way he did, there's no way he did, right? And so, like, like it had me thinking that, though. And the fact that it had me thinking that, I can also assume that some people probably full scented once they saw Camilla was in drama and was like, Nyx did something for them. Boom, Nyx, you're in it too, buddy. We got you. <laughs> Never considered myself part of the community and went through some so much stuff while doing stuff for it that my mental health was completely destroyed. For people who thought I was an admin of the server, that was just in paper. I was constantly de-admined, demodded, and kicked from the server the years of for simple stuff like asking the rest of the mod team not to say slurs and standing up oh i've seen some communities bro if nix was calling them out and then it was banned him because of that like hey you ain't with the gang you ain't trying to say the slurs with us get out you know what i'm saying it's really like a cult you know what i'm saying like that's really how clicks be going in school as well bro you call someone out be like yo why think you say that joke that was weird bro don't be saying that junk and they'd be like shut the heck up nerd get out of here dude you know what i'm saying so like yeah that, that's just how it be let's continue I personally left the server for a long while because I really did not want to be around some of the people there. All of this happened years ago, from 2016 to around 2020. On the early years, my full income came from YouTube slash Glitchtail. I was broke college student. <sighs> Relatable. Despite this, and making literally hundreds of tracks and hours of music for the series, most of the income came from my own ad revenue. I was paid less than 2000 2000 is crazy. But then again, like, I only got to pay, like, a small portion of the rent because my family's so generous to me. But $2,000 is a gosh dang lot <laughs> for all of the work. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait, what, what? I was paid less than 2000 USD for all of the work. Essentially, I was paid in exp... What? Whoa, whoa, hold up. He don't mean in his ad revenue. He means less than 2000 from Camilla? Y'all, I don't think y'all understand how much money Camilla has gotten from this Glitch Toe series, bro. And Brody only got 2000 He was doing the, mainly the soundtrack. From what I know. From what I know. I could be wrong. But yeah, Camilla makes a ton of money, y'all. Don't... And you know how longer episodes are? You know how much more money? Yeah. Camilla's rolling in the dough. 2000 is literally... Literally paper change. Paper change. Paper change that they gave Nyx. That's crazy. So it wouldn't have been an issue for me if at least I got to keep my artistic vision with the series. 
that didn't hold true for long. From the second season and onwards, and in multiple instances, I would score the entire OST for the ep see the entire OST, my boy. 2000 is crazy. Watch the episode when it released, and then find out a completely new section of the episode. Usually a battle scene with music from somebody else. This was completely demotivating to me because I wasn't paid being paid. Now being paid and something that big is actually insane, bro. Like you gotta share the love, bro. You gotta share the love. If anything, the creator should pay the people helping them out just a little bit more than they're gonna get. I don't know. Cause at the end of the day, your channel's gonna grow. You know, you feel me? Your channel's gonna be the main one growing from everyone's work and effort here because it's going up on your video. So in the long run, you're gonna be profiting more, so you should give them more money. But that's just that's just generosity. That's generosity business is what I'm speaking of right now. And no one does that. You know what I'm saying? Apparently can you know what I'm saying? It's a little, getting a little corporate in here, <laughs> This added to the feeling of having absolutely no power within the community. I don't know if this was intentional or not. I don't want to presume malice. But all these things put together contribute to me distancing myself from the community. Honestly, there's a lot more stuff that went down in these early years that I shouldn't to me that I would prefer not talk about unless it's completely necessary. But I feel this is a good amount of context for what I'm going to talk about next. As you might be aware, extremely serious and true allegations were made against Camilla and his partner. Which was accused of grooming minus- Oh, true! True, true, true! Yep, that was happening in the first strike video that we was talking about. There are really good videos out there explaining the entire timeline with you power. That's true, that's true, bro. Shout out to Peaches. Try out to, uh, Oranges. Peaches and- What the heck? Why y'all names? Peaches and Oranges, what the heck? I specifically want to talk about 2020. In that year, a public document was made by the head mod Crystal Flames, alongside two other mods in the Glitch Tell server that exposed Veer and their actions. This document was- went mostly unnoticed even more crystal went through a lot of abuse for i'm coming for coming forward about their abuse and was almost ostracized from the utau community because of this shout out to crystal bro that's crazy you know what i'm saying for a victim come forward and then be battered by community for coming forward is crazy bro and of course camilla over there like i don't have time to manage a discord server but i'm on league of legends Camilla, like, at this point i'm not even done reading everything yet but i'm just gonna say right now bro at this point we gonna need a one-on-one -on -one phone call for me to redeem that you have any humanity in you bro we're gonna need a one-on-one -on -one phone call i appreciate you shouting me out on twitter bro for my reaction to this serious stuff I appreciate that, but we're going to need a phone call because, like, you can't be trusted at this point, bro. Because now what I'm thinking is you shouted me out to uplift your, your series, you know what I'm saying? To build hype for your series, just like you shouted out the Glitch Tell um, fan project that was made to shout out your series and grow up uh, the litness for it as well, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy, bro. It's looking like it's just money moves out here. Especially with how you did Nick's as well. It's looking like money moves out here. And this is just a reaction channel speaking, you know what I'm saying? I can, I can miss some facts here and whatnot. So keep that in mind, of course, as I will say many times. And also, if I make a joke, and, and this obviously is like a depressing and serious topic, and I make some jokes, I apologize. It's just, you know what I'm saying? It's just how I do some stuff, bro. But by no means is any of the stuff that happened here, you know what I'm saying, to the victims funny at all. I'm sure we all understand that, right? Because of this, I was asked directly by one of the victims and also representing to the other victims to please not speak up, citing that they just wanted to move on and didn't want to involve themselves in an exposing month. Yeah, once you see someone rise up and be like, hey, you know what I'm saying, this is what happened, and you're also a victim, and you see them get bombarded with stuff, it makes you not want to say nothing because you're like, that same thing's gonna happen to me, you know what I'm saying? All the info was kept very vague for me, including the people who were involved, the extent of the stuff that went down, etc. but I knew enough to, it was serious. Yeah, guys, I, this is my reading, bro. Sorry. I followed the request and didn't speak up publicly about this, but I banned Veer from my server, warned all of the mods and people close to me in, the so in those circles about Veer, and constantly tried to get Camilla to please address the situation. And not do another stupid freaking Twitter post. You better make a gosh dang video like like <laughs> like this meme, which we're gonna get into memes pretty soon. This meme right here, you better do something. <laughs> you better do something, bro. We're gonna get into the meme soon though. Hold on. Despite this, she did not listen, and we all know how stuff went down later in 2022 when the allegations came back with full force. This time around, I wasn't asked to stay silent, so I spread the word around, confronted the entire mod team. I was shortly banned after that. Ooh, my boy put out the hero card. I see you, my boy, come through. I need to address this because this thing has been eating me alive for years. I was intentionally kept in the dark about a lot of context and nuance that was completely changed my mind about what happened in 2020. Everything is easier in retrospective and with the knowledge I now have about the situation for her, I know for a fact I would have spoken up about all that happened. But being asked directly not to speak up about it by the victims was something that goes against what I am. Yeah, yeah, well, you know what I'm saying? When, like, um, it's, it's hard to speak up about something when the victim themselves is telling you to not say anything, right? That's that it's, it's hard, right? Because you're like, they had so much trust to tell me, like, what happened. And then now I'm going to have to break their trust and speak up about what they told me not to speak up about, right? Because it's the right thing to do, right? This is a dark topic, of course, but, like, 
when people are suicidal, you know what I'm saying? And um, they don't want you to tell anyone about how sad they are, but um, sometimes telling people can help them, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like maybe a school counselor or whatever it may be, whatever the situation it is, there, there's, if there's a person to tell them that will make the situation better, you're scared to tell them because, you know what I'm saying, they gave you that information. Sorry for the long rant, but I really need to get this off my chest. I am tired of having to deal with this kind of stuff. As a content creator, public figure, I am trying my hardest to keep the communities I am active in and safe as possible. We love to see that. We love to see that. I feel I could have done more in the Wichita community regarding the grooming situation, but all of the years of abuse that I endured really messed up my judgment. I am not very good at dealing with people, and I always trust the people close to help me for this kind of stuff. Sadly, in this case, those same people were, who were close to me were also the victims, uh, so they couldn't have known or had a way to help me out. I should have helped them instead. Most, if not all, of what was described in this thread is backed up by screenshots, chat logs, and direct testimony from this man said, De yeah, they said testimony. That's crazy, bro. They really apply pressure from the people who were involved during the time. I don't want to direct a hate to anyone and start a witch hunt. I am doing this purely to de decompress a bit and try to vent some trauma, uh, vent some of the trauma I've experienced all these years. Big likes for these, my boy. Extremely underpaid. Gave chump change for the work he did on Glitch Toe for two seasons, mind you. Notice the stuff that was happening in the server. Didn't want to say anything early on because the, the victims that came out and told him what happened said, please don't say anything. And then added on top of that, when he did call out the mods for being weird in the server, they ended up kicking him from the mod team, banning him repetitively, he said. So, very interesting. Penaloza talked after Nyx did, so it's probably gonna be more like emotional than what Nyx said. You see one of your friends upset about something, you gonna give it more mad about it, you know what I'm saying? It'd be even more direct with whoever they're saying upset them, right? So let's see what Penaloza has to say. I would also like to share my experiences about my relationship with Glitchtail creator Camilla Cuevas. Publicly, we appeared as close friends, but in reality, that friendship was based on bullying and mistreatment, and this affected my mental health deeply. We've seen this before in YouTube situations, YouTuber situations. Uh, two big YouTubers together, one YouTuber just constantly bullying the other. Eventually, they do it enough to where it just spirals, and um, this YouTuber doesn't like that YouTuber anymore because, you know what I'm saying, the bullying. Years have passed, and the memory still caused me pain. I decided to remain silent, but after the revelations of grooming cases in her community, I I realized I wasn't being too sensitive. The time has come to speak up about my experiences. During the early years of Underverse, I was dealing with a serious depressive episode. Simultaneous internal and external pressures as an independent artist amplified my mental strain. Gosh dang, your vocabulary is immaculate, Penaloza. That junk was beautiful. I mean, obviously sad as well, but like, your vocabulary is beautiful. Meeting Camilla felt like finding a genuine friend who shared my passion for the fandom and understood the struggles of being a content creator amidst toxicity. That is the typical YouTuber to YouTuber relationship right there. At my lowest, I became compliant to doing things that I didn't want to just to keep people around me happy for Camilla development, allowing her to belittle my work and make me the butt of her jokes. Oh my God. Knowing this now, and like before I even knew they had beef and all the drama, bro, I was already saying like, <laughs> Pena Loza's work was like, the animation was so much better and the fighting was just so much better. And it took my number one spot over Glitch Toe, bro. Cause didn't, didn't uh, Camilla then have P uh, Pena Loza remaster the Glitch Toe episode one? They low key know Pena Loza's better. Well, that's what happens y'all. Look who's up now, look who's up now. I'm telling you bro, you turn into a bully star bullying someone, they gonna get bigger than you, bro. And then look how the tables turn, buddy. Only our veteran followers may remember the roasting games between us on Tumblr. A spectacle where she'd always win. However, it was a game she privately forced me to play. And I ended up accepting despite the discomfort it caused me. These games would give her a cool and strong image in the fandom, painting me as the dumb, cringe-worthy friend. In essence, I became her personal punching bag, unknowingly reinforcing his reputation. Camilla's favorite term to demean my series underverse was... Oh, wow. I'm never gonna say that, bro. I don't mess with uh, cancer jokes, bro. Mainly because, you know what I'm saying, my grandma went through that and died from it, so. Watching your loved one die in front of your eyes as the life force leaves their body because of cancer, and then hearing cancer jokes kinda hits different at that point, you feel me? It felt like a constant contest where she'd always position herself as the superior writer and animator simply because my story and animation techniques doesn't, didn't fit her standards. Years of being subject to ridicule left my self-esteem in ruins. I was okay with negative feedback by some fans, but when my friend publicly disrespected my art, it made me question my abilities as an artist. I can't deny there were times when she gave me advice to deal with hate and hurtful comments. However, her damaging comments and treatment outweighed those moments of support. And that's a lot of things people don't understand, bro. Like 90% of your life, they can be disrespectful to you. And then they give you like 10% of positive uh, feedback sometimes. 
and then mentally you make a mental note and you're like, you know what, they're not that bad, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they roast me a lot, but they're not that bad. At least they said something nice, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure we're still good friends. Like, no, 90% of the jokes they gave you were them roasting you. 10% was loving comments, right? That's not love, bro. That's them just giving you a freebie because they're tired of roasting you for a second, you feel me? Don't accept that, y'all. Don't accept that. If you got a friendship like that, take notes and get out of it, bro. It's not going to be good for you in the long run. I'm telling you right now. My depressive state worsened around July 2017 where I accepted people pushing me to do things I was uncomfortable with while being a part of Camilla's Divinity Games just to appease her ego. I was introduced to Nick during the time he offered his music for my series. And eventually, we started dating. Aww. We met in person in Chile uh, where I... Is it called Chile or... I feel like it's called something else. Freak. Ah, uh, sorry. Where I also met Camilla. I hope in, oh wow, they, they met IRL as well, wow. I hoped our friendship would strengthen, but everything felt the same. Wow, that sucks. Well, you know, th sometimes that's just how it is, and I feel like that might be how most things are, but I haven't experienced it myself. But if you have an online friend, your relationship online is gonna be the exact same in person. Compare with me if I'm wrong, if you guys ever met an online friend, but I, f I, I just have this strong feeling that that's how it's mainly gonna be like most of the time, you feel me? Before I moved to Chile with Nyx, Camilla reached out to me in DMs, attempting to turn me against him because he was he opposed the use of slurs in the GT server. She claimed Nyx was being brainwashed by his American friends belonging to the black and LGBTQ communities. Oh uh, my God. Oh my God, it's getting there. It's getting there. Does he put a Lowe's to say this? Browser being inside for so long, you know what I'm saying? Not wanting to, you know what I'm saying, unleash the bag. Bro, GG, oh my gosh. I know, I know, I saw Camilla upload a tweet as well. We gonna get into that one as well. You know what I'm saying? And I'm getting excited because like, I'm finding a solution. You know what I'm saying? I'm finding that solution. I'm finding that answer to the question of, should I mess with Camilla? And I'm getting so many facts that really paints a full picture to give me confidence to really not mess with her stuff anymore. And that makes me excited. It sucks what happened, of course, and I am upset about that, but if we're looking at it from an analytic, analytical point right here, whether we can cancel Camilla, <laughs> like, it's gonna happen, you feel me? Sorry, it, it gets me a little excited to figure out who the villain is, you know what I'm saying? That gets me excited. Justice will definitely happen here, as it has been. The memes have been going crazy, by the way. The memes you guys have been making go crazy. There's a lot of them. It's almost turning into bullying, like counter-bullying, you know? But hey, this was some suffering people had to endure for a long time, and they're finally getting it fully out of their system, man, so. Oh, and trauma that they had to live with, by the way. Let's not forget the trauma part. That, that it, Camille was pretty much responsible for, for just not giving gosh dang any care to it. She made fun of my dating choices, suggesting I was entering a toxic relationship while showing off her relationship with her then boyfriend later exposed to be a pedophile. <laughs> I told y'all, I told y'all Penelosa was gonna be more aggravated in this, bro. It only makes sense. She even quoted her own mother, assuring me that Nyx would get back to normal. And if that didn't happen, she wouldn't let me live in her house. Almost like she was telling me that Nyx would hurt me or make me feel miserable. It only took Nyx three months to realize that the glitch cell server was going in, a wrong, in the wrong way. It initially felt compelled to defend Camilla due to the inferiority complex, but soon I realized Nyx was right. Even then, I found it difficult to distance myself from Camilla due to the false sense of obligation I felt towards her. My fear of her making fun of my work kept me from interacting with others in the short period of time I stayed in their Discord. She was so scared to say something in Camilla's Discord that Camilla would you know, try to make fun of her work that she just didn't say anything at all. Gosh dang, that is not a comfortable environment, huh? I was afraid that she and her echo chamber would talk behind my back, something that I found out was happening in private chats until recent years. Yeah, that's 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 just life. That's just gonna happen, bro. If you exist in any gosh dang uh, community, you're always gonna have people that will talk behind your back. No cap, no cap. Rebuilding my self-esteem wasn't an easy task. I began noticing the red flags, Camilla's l lack of respect, not only for me, but Nyx. Also, the emotional manipulation Nyx was suffering from Veer. Uh, something he used to do all the time with his other victims. Bro, this Veer thing really get on my nerves, bro. Like, it actually triggers me, bro. Like, having to read his name so many times, too, has also triggered me. And just, like, letting those memories come back from the drama videos I've seen and the facts we have pulled out, bro, that junk really, really triggers me, bro. And still that Camilla... Ain't making no video about it. Bro, I'm... Bro. Due to that simple fact, bro. That's, that's aggravating, y'all. That's aggravating. Manipulators are the worst type of people in this world, bro. I'll tell you right now. Her attempts to roast me in front of her family and fans and the Underverse Glitch Tale meetings and her constant criticism of my art style not being compatible to hers and the few collabs we made... All these small instances dismissed as insignificant by many caused me immense pain while treating my depression. 
I felt it was too late to express how I felt as I feared being labeled as attention seeking or oversensitive by her her and her fan base. Guys, so imagine you have a best friend, right? But it's only like when you guys are just chilling together, they throw those roasts, right? So now imagine them throwing those roasts at you when they have like, I don't know, when 100,000 people have the opportunity to see it. That would be mental distress for sure. Ironically, the moment she talked about her traumas after being bullied in the past, her feelings were the only ones that mattered anytime she was involved with the problematic situation in the fandom and deserved to be the only one who gets a pat on the back. I remember this actually in the drama video. Uh, I don't know which one it was in, but I remember uh, when things got bad, Camilla just tried to put, be like, I know that you're going through something, but what about me? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, <laughs> freaking idiot, dude. Sorry, Camilla. Give me a call. But yeah, it's it's, it's GG. It's wraps for me right now. I know you gave me the shout out. I feel so bad. But like, at the same time, you're an idiot. <laughs> you're, you're actually stupid. I, I say I'm sorry because I haven't met you and I don't like to judge people I don't meet. But when I see this much concrete evidence, bro, I just have to calculate out what I know. And it's looking like I know that you're an idiot. So it's just as simple as that. I never expected a sincere apology as I was convinced. She didn't remember or didn't care about the hurt she caused. I tried to maintain a facade of good terms with her, both publicly and privately. Eventually, I distanced myself from her, unfriending her and banning her from my own server, even if she didn't interact there. I started focusing on my own work and people who appreciated it. Despite this, the aftermath of bullying continued to affect me. I was about to say, if anyone's going through depression, bro, and you're in a community, whether it's Discord or whatever, and you feel like that community is just bringing you, like, no love, no respect, or you got a friend that's bringing you no love, no respect, bro. I'm telling you guys right now, ban them, kick them out of your life, leave that community. I'm telling you right now, as long as you bring at least one real friend with you to help you get through that depression, you know, someone with you, or go to someone to talk, a therapist or whatever, to get through that depression while you're out of that community, you will come out so much happier and so much better. I promise you guys. I promise you, bro. I've seen that happen before. People I've talked to, they leave the community that maybe even, maybe a few people were harassing them in. Days go, maybe a week goes by, maybe two, it takes some time, but they come out a so much happier and just, they're just, they're just such a brighter soul, you know what I'm saying, than what I knew them before, but yeah. Everything fell into place when the grooming accusations against her former boyfriend and server mods came to light. It was a shocking revelation, but it validated my all my doubts and fears about her. Purpose of sharing my experiences it is not to stir up drama, but to address the concerns of those worried about my association with Camilla. I wanted to make it clear that I will never tolerate such behavior. You know, drama's gonna happen when something like this happens, right? Camilla made the drama, right? So, you know what I'm saying? Penelope, you just speak on it. No worries, you know what I'm saying? Although the things I did for her in the past cannot be erased, I hope Camilla at least deletes the animation remake I did for her and all the collabs that boost her views for free. Uh, they didn't give them any 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 money for that either. Wow. So Camilla, even even as high as they were, still didn't want to. Okay. And then it also makes me think about um the fan animations, the glitch stuff that happened. I know there's like a separate the art from the artist type of thing, which is fine if you made it before you know the full whole fact and evidence came out. If he's already working on something, and you just want to finish it. Uh, you know it's fine but like i think after this point right here guys we should just stop glitch so content because let's be honest whether we're saying they're separating the art from the artist at this point it's literally just going to give camilla more notoriety and more love and uh raise them up even higher in this world where they definitely don't deserve to be on the 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 in the temple they're at right now or whatever you want to call it in the trash and the in the rich trash uh scumbag place they are now but that's my thoughts on uh that you know what i'm saying still shout out to everyone who worked on the fan project right very great people but um, I, I think I think people should stop making glitch tail content after this if they really want to separate from Camilla. As I've matured, my hope is that she and her crew learn from the mistakes, start behaving like adults, take responsibility for their actions and the future projects and the new followers. I don't think they'll do that. Like I said, three strike system, guys. This is the third strike. It's been going on for years now. I don't think you're gonna change. But I'm skeptical about my any real change, especially if their server continues to exist. The best course of action for me was to cut all ties with Camilla and glitch tail. Nix, now my husband, and I have endured too much from our treatment by Camilla. We no longer want to be associated with her on our glitch tail. It's a chapter of our lives that we wish to close. It's time for us to focus on recovering our mental health as remaining silent is only prolonging our pain. We have been working to improve our mental and physical health over the past few years, and this is a crucial part of our healing process. Love it. So here comes Penelosa coming in with her tweets, literally confirming all of the stuff in the drama videos we've seen before. Which means Camilla's an idiot, negligent, a bad friend, uh, doesn't care if people use slurs, and the list goes on and on. Yeah.
So anyways, this happens and then boom, we have some memes coming out. <laughs> Which had me dying, bro, from Drew. Shout out Drew, bro. And then we have another one where they took a clip from her own gosh dang animation of Toriel running and said it was her and it says, take accountability for your own actions and them just running away. I said, these memes are getting wild. And ED7 was like, nah, you did it, bro. <laughs> Wait, did you make two? Oh my god, he did, bro. He's going crazy, bro. He's, he, he, he's having his meme time. GTC is gone and Cammy is banned from the CLH community server. He's over there laughing at them. Crystal tweet. Just to be clear, it wasn't Camilla who deleted the server. It was me. A PP, my bot. She made a victim cry once again. I wasn't having it. Wait, what the heck? PP removed boom boom ba -doom, boom 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 admin monster blah 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 oh dang <laughs> what the heck oh shoot yeah how the heck did crystal do that <laughs> what the heck I don't know how that works bro I don't know how this worries that will so you know what I'm saying anyways but yeah that happened so let's go on to Camilla's response So this was uploaded yesterday, official account and whatnot. Since Twitter wanna let me make a thread, I can only do screenshots. This is basically to address Crystal, Jakey, and our Jackie. Uh, Nix's thread made recently to try to put everyone at ease. People are asking me for answers and demanding action from me has led me to create this thread. My intention is not to get pity points, but to shed light on the current situation, whether you had heard of it or not, and address serious concerns that we mentioned here. Okay, so from what I've seen from Camilla, with them saying just these two little, little paragraphs right here, um, they're going to talk about how bad their life was at the time. Um, not about the time where they was Still playing League of Legends on Switch, just chilling, and not uh, trying to change anything in the server while all everyone was screaming at them for help. Okay. First, I want to show this. I've never in my life felt as miserable as I have in the past few years, and obvious reasons as to why you do feel bad. I, like, come on now. Hey, wait, hold on. Maybe that. Hold on, hold on. Let me not reach too far. They might not even feel bad about what happened in the Discord. Let me not reach too far. They might pull up something else from family or something. I almost got a little ahead of myself and thought they was feeling bad for what happened in the Discord, but I don't know if they'll uh, take accountability as a lot of people have said. I've always been having therapy with my psychiat psychiatrist since I was 16, but this is the first time I've needed a psychiatrist. This is what my life has turned into every day. The same day I had my psychiatrist appointment, a very dear family member to me had passed away. It had been an agonizing experience that lasted months and required my full attention sleeping every other day and taking turns to take care of them. Having, the, having that said, looking back at it, now it's no wonder I handled things so poorly. I wasn't in a good mental state, I had several, several minor surgeries over other issues, <clears throat> and I was being betrayed by most of the people I consider friends, the ones that got outed as rumors. Sadly, Veer twisted my view on what was okay and what wasn't. So are they going to try to play the guilt card that Veer ma manipulated them as well? I'm ashamed that I ever called him a boyfriend. I honestly just accepted it so he'd stop asking me to be his girlfriend even though he knew I was asexual. By far, the biggest mistake I did was to allow him to take authority over me. He was tired of him asking to date you so you just said yes? Don't people usually just block the other person if they do that? Because that means it's getting weird and you should stop. And they don't stop, so you're just like, okay, if you're not going to stop asking me out, I'm just going to block you because you're just being weird now. Things like asking me for when I was 16 was already normal to me because of him. He introduced me to the snowflake culture that was popular a few years ago when it was seen as okay to say slurs and would call me a little for not wanting to say them in public. Not being a per <laughs> what a bum. Not being a person with any friends IRL or the internet, he sadly took advantage of that, keeping me in his own friend circle, which as an unfortunate result ended up with me being surrounded by such people as well. Sorry guys if I'm reading slower, I'm just really putting I'm really thinking about this while I'm reading. I understand that it was still my responsibility that they caused harm which is why I've cooperated with Crystal to root them out of the community. This was sadly heavily delayed by the IRL issues I had at the time. This was all coming to light and took me an embarrassing amount of time to realize it was just being used by a bunch of freaks. Everything past that point, I've done my best to cooperative, cooperate and learning the right way to do things and I believe I've done what I can to fix it all. So you heard Crystal out? <laughs> hold on, hold on, bro. <laughs> hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. So essentially, all you told us that you did in this was you kicked him out of your life because of Crystal, 
And that's literally all you said in this whole writing. That's that's literally all you said. You said, I kicked him out because of Crystal, and then I did some other things. <laughs> what other things? <laughs> what other things did you do to fix it? You just All you just told us is that you kicked him out because of Crystal. And Crystal still don't like you, so there's no way that's true. That uh, you guys are cool or whatever. So, uh, what the heck you talking about, bro? Hold on, is there more here? Crystal's request to delete the server will be granted, of course. What I will be doing next, whether it is to make a new one and such, I will be handling that properly, privately, and giving it the time it deserves. I also apologize for my delay in answering everything with things I got going on in uh, going on IRL. I was a for it was unfortunate timing to say the least. We're gonna keep reading this, but like, bro, like, I, it's it's been so long that it's finally taken you to like actually admit your faults here. You made Crystal literally go years upon years upon years of trying to get you to delete this server and trying to expose like, like like trying to get you to fess up to what the heck has been going on and then you had to have penaloza come out and say something and nix to come out to say something for you to finally do this bro it wasn't in crystal you literally had to get nix and penaloza to come at you and then you're like whoa guys hold on now i did what crystal said look I fi i'm finally doing it what crystal said okay i'm finally not busy guys i'm fi i'm finally not busy okay I don't know. The timing isn't crazy, right? It was right when Nix and and, and Penaloza said something, but like, I, I know the timing is crazy, but I'm finally not busy that I can write you guys another tweet longer. As for Penaloza, I would have acted the second you wanted me to delete the videos. If you hadn't blocked me, I only learned about it from people telling me of your wishes for that brief delay. I apologize. And to you, even if you don't read this message, I've got nothing but respect to you, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I'm just very confused on why you didn't just talk to me about this. I'm sure they did. Um, and you just laughed at them and made another joke. How you felt about the silly games we didn't on Tumblr back in blah, 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 blah. I can just assume what she's gonna say, guys. That's why I'm saying blah, blah, blah. Still that day when uh, you were talking with me face to face, I did apologize properly. I thought that was the end of it. I didn't want to you two be besties. I just wanted to say sorry and hoped for your well-being. Never once have I seriously bad mouthed you, neither as a blah, 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 blah. And how we approach things. Okay, so you're saying some of the stuff that Penelope's saying is, is false. And you're also saying if you would have said something, I would have said sorry. The screenshot showing me saying that maybe you should only drop Underverse was only because we once talked at my house. How badly pressured you were feeling at the animating the series. Sure, but whatever, bro. I could care less, bro. I tried to give some advice and show support. What I typed on Discord came from my assumption that you were enjoying yourself. I did it in person once, and I'll do it here again. I'm sorry I've never made, so she's really letting people know that she did it in person as well, to double down on that. As for the Nick's claims of being underpaid and banned from the community of thinking differently is simply not true. Back, <laughs> back when I released the first episodes of season one, approached me on Facebook, a post I, uh, I did about the episode and offered to make music for me. Oh, freak. <laughs> You see how she said offered? Like it's his fault because he offered that she didn't pay him that much. It's like he offered like it for free or something like that. So she's like, you offered anyway. So like, I really didn't think I needed to pay you much at all. You know what I'm saying like, whoa, 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 whoa. So I didn't have money to pay you and you said it was okay. We both benefited from it in that agreement. But then he went on to help you with season two as well. And we know you was rolling in some dough and you still didn't help him out. You grew your channel and provided me with your musical talents, which also, you know what I'm saying? Let's think about it. Maybe Penelosa didn't have that much money, but um, that because they was using that tons of money for something else, which could have been a good thing or a bad thing. I'm not gonna say what or, or, or what Camilla. Sorry, sorry, did I say Penelope earlier too? But it's like at the same time, right? Like you need to pay people properly, right? Whether you gotta pay this or pay that, you know what I'm saying? Or you're gonna be in a detrimental crisis doesn't matter you've got to pay people what they're owed regardless because you are making this amount of money which is a ton of money and they deserve this amount from it right make more videos or something do more i don't know <laughs> i don't know to tell you you know what i'm saying that's not their problem they should get paid what they worked for you know what i'm saying never once in a day did you ask me to pay you blah 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 yep exactly what i said earlier is since they said offered they were probably talking about it. boom what they said right here yep got them right there we got them boys Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. I could offer you some uh, for my savings. Moreover, I did send you money when I could. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I feel like if you had simply said, hey, I'm not doing well on money, blah, blah, blah. About your ban and your status in the community, I never really got involved. Of course you didn't, like you never do. In Discord, I know. I know, buddy. They're not my puppets. I can't control what they think. I know. You don't care to even see what's going on. I understand. Um, Camilla, how about we summarize this up to you should have said, Hey, guys, I'm very sorry for everything that happened. You could honestly just make Crystal the server owner at this point as well and let them 
manage everything because they know a lot about the stuff, apparently, from what I know at least. 70% of money that I made through the whole Glitch Tell series are 50%, whatever you want to do. I'm giving it to Penaloza and Nyx for, you know what I'm saying, obviously not paying him anything. And he did the whole gosh thing OST. I'll be paying that to you guys as well. Either say I'm not fit to run a server or I'm going to try to do better. Uh, working under Crystal and taking Crystal's guidance of how to run a server. Any person who has made a slur or talks in slurs or whatever that was associated with the mod team, I will be unfriending them and blocking them all. I'll be restarting my life here and um, becoming a better person. I understand what I've done. Uh, it cannot be excused, but I will try my best to uh, become better from this point on. Instead, you did this. Whatever the freak this is. <laughs> Whatever the heck this is, you did this, and uh, yeah. In private, of course, I had no choice but to remove you from the server because a lot of people saw the way you were behaving and blah, blah, blah. The thing is, like, the stuff you said in here, like, Camilla, you're kind of exposing yourself in some of these statements, right? Like, you're saying you made a group decision with your admin team to ban someone, so obviously you talked to your admin team. It's not like you didn't know what was going on. You have time to check these things. You just honestly don't want to put time into it, and you're like, let me just an animate my uh, series and uh, let the Discord run itself. And uh, whoever I put in charge, I'm just going to keep them in charge because freak it. It's still alive, right? They're doing something, right? But yeah, give me a phone call. I just do what I said to do, and we'll be cool, uh, Camilla. But yeah, you hit your third strike, so I'm done reacting to this stuff, to the glitch tell stuff. Whether it's a fan project or not, I'm completely done at this point, guys. Um, anyone that finishes their project that was working on Glitch Tell stuff, I still give y'all respect, you know what I'm saying? Um, also the fan projects react to with Tristan and all of them, bro. That was an amazing, amazing production, bro. Amazing stuff right there, bro. I, if you guys want, would do another fan project, I hope you guys take it to like, maybe do one for Penelos or like Underverse or something, if you guys can. Um, that would be dope. How I deal with people once I cut them out my life, right? Is I wouldn't want to give them any type of attention because I don't want them getting profits that come with that attention they're getting, right? So off from this, we have uh, Nick's replying to this, by the way. Uh, I don't know what his reply was into the spam of when these dropped as well, but let's see what they said. Why is it so hard to hold accountability? I have to remind you we told you all we said in our threads back in November last year. This isn't new. You knew about how we felt. We sent you literal pages of text and you said nothing since. Why there is always a but. Yeah, and uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, literally, in reading what uh, Camilla's saying right now in these posts, like how they had a whole group discussion with the mods and stuff, everyone knows that runs a server, bro. You gotta have time in your day to talk to your mods. And if she's saying they made a group decision to ban Nyx at one point, you're obviously you're obviously not always busy. And especially if you have the time to Twitch stream you playing games, you're obviously not busy. You're obviously not busy, you know what I'm saying? You're, no one is busy 100% of the day. As much as people want to manipulate you to think they're busy 100% of the day, there is always a small time frame that they can choose to do whatever they want. And Camilla could have chose that small time frame to fix the situation. It would have took it a day or two, maybe three, uh, but they had to pick that small time frame and fix that junk, and they didn't do that, bro. All right, and that's it. And then here's me on Twitter, announcing that I was done with it from what I had skimmed through of what we read today. Now we have fully read it. I fully read it. Uh, not read it, but we have fully read it. I have fully read it today with you guys. Uh, I skimmed through it when I posted this because I was just like, bro, third strike, are you serious right now, bro? I just need to see the little bit of proof. Is see Pendeloza saying that Camilla is unbound. I was like, yep. Yeah, y'all. I'm done reacting to Glitch Talk Complete now. I told y'all. One more strike and they out. This is going to be the last one. Hands clap. You're done. Thanks for the shout out, Camilla. But we gonna have to talk for real with how much bad stuff I've been seeing happening with you involved and now this on top of it. Big facts, my boy, big facts. Shout out to everyone who liked this, you know what I'm saying, retweeted it. Shout out to y'all, bruh. To sum it all up, end of the video summary. I should probably do these and stuff. Um, especially when it's this long. We're done reacting to Camilla, not reacting to it anymore. Shout out for Penaloza and Nyx for sp speaking about what happened to them, bro. Shout out to Crystal for year after year, still focusing on making sure the victims that were harmed and have trauma now because of the things that happened to Camilla's ser server. Shout out to Crystal for still trying to pretty much get justice for them, right? Shout out to the drama channels that made the videos that I was able to react to to catch up on the drama because otherwise I would not be able to deep dive this like that. So shout out to them. Shout out to uh, obviously Orange and uh, uh, Peach. I'll have their channels. You know I'm saying showing up right here, obviously. Uh, they're, they're the, they are the ones that write their videos, bro. So shout out to them. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day, bro. Um, learn from this situation that happened, guys. If you ever run into anything like this, you know what I'm saying, with any other piece that was in this, whether it be the toxic friendship relationship that you need to get out of, whether it be a groomer trying to
be weird with you, you know what I'm saying, how to get out of that, how to speak out against it, you know, and let Crystal be your idol for that, I guess you could say, with speaking up against that type of stuff, you know what I'm saying, I know there's a lot of drama around here, there's gonna be memes busting out left and right, you know what I'm saying, a little bit, a little slight, slight toxicity, but you know what I'm saying, that toxicity is coming from years of being bullied or ignored by Camilla when people were being uh, pretty much even trauma into the server, so. Anyone who's watching this now that doesn't know me, um, hopefully I gave some good thoughts and opinions on the situation. I try, I'm trying my best, man. I, I'm literally just a reaction show that goes around reacts to stuff he loves. And someone I react to, he had some drama. I tried to do my best to check out some videos on that drama. I didn't deep dive too much. Um, I probably could have deep dived a lot better. I definitely could have. Hopefully I got everywhere and every piece I need to to properly speak on it. And uh, hopefully I didn't disappoint you guys. I'm sorry if I did. And I missed any crucial facts that I probably should have seen. I apologize sincerely. Please let me know down in the comments below. Fans of mine, like I said, learn from it. Uh, people that I know from the fan animation community, uh, like Tris, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 Crystal as well that came through. Uh, Donut. Everyone, I know I'm missing some names here, bro. Drew and, and a lot of others, bro. Thank you guys for all the love you've showed to me, bro. Uh, I loved your guys' work, and I've enjoyed it. I can't wait to see what you guys get into next, whatever that may be. Maybe you don't want to animate anymore. That's fine as well. I'll keep up with you guys on Twitter if I get you followed. I wish you the best in your journeys. And, uh, yeah, this is the end of Glitch Tale for me, guys. I'm not wrecked to it anymore. Keep it divine. Live every day or night. And peace.